Okay, friends. So, I filmed a video earlier today just because I thought, well, my people might want to see that. So, I filmed that for you. But now it is dinner time. I just had a crazy, wonderful, well, not wonderful because it's not like joyous. Well, I guess it is because why shouldn't it be? Why shouldn't just normal life and getting things checked off your to-do list and just why can't normal life be wonderful so today has been wonderful um i've got i got a workout in got my family fed way earlier which you saw that well you seen food for john and ellen i think might have been yesterday's video i don't know i've been recording quite a bit lately i took the pressure off myself of caring about when i get to upload and it seems like i'm uploading a lot i know it's still fresh it's still the beginning of the year so I still have a lot of steam, but um, yeah, today's been good. I got that done. I got my workout in, got all my animals taken care of, and then I decided to tackle the pantry. I, I, I planned on recording a lot of my decluttering, and I'm sure that I will record some of it for the other channel, but I didn't record the pantry, but, and there's going to be some stuff I don't record because there's some spots in my house that I'm ashamed of. I'm not going to say that there's not. Um, so I do plan on doing those. Not sure if I will share them, but I plan on doing those because my goal is to get my home completely shame-free, at least in my areas. Um, our kids' rooms are their own thing. Anywho, we are going to do part two for the one for now, one for later freezer meal series. Um, tonight we're going to do our Mexican lasagna, but I decided we're just going to call it burrito bake because it sounds, well, beginning of this i plan on doing three meals in one video and then i just last minute decided you know what we're gonna do all separate ones um because different ones might catch different people's attention or people might not be interested in one and be interested in the other and whatever so anyways <clears throat> since i was going to do a whole video of that i didn't want ravioli lasagna and mexican lasagna so i said we're going to change the name it's the exact same thing but it is burrito bake is what we're going to call it um, I'm going to do these a little bit different with part of the trying to save money thing. We're not going to use as much ground beef. So since this is going to be making two, typically I would have needed two pounds of ground beef. Um, but I don't want to, you know, that, that adds to the cost, obviously. So I got one pound of ground beef. I'm going to boil some rice, make some rice. And then we've also got black beans, John and Nolan. Um, had them for the first time of seasoned black beans and they really liked them so I got some black beans to add to it and rice that'll help give it more of a filler so I need less meat except for Wendy's Wendy is not a fan of I mean she don't eat beans at all I don't think pretty sure she don't eat beans at all I'm like green beans and sugar snap peas is a pea a bean anyways um, she eats she don't eat beans and so I'm gonna make her a little compartment in the pan like I did Lily for the lasagna and hers will just have meat and cheese I need to sneeze but we're gonna go ahead and get that started because i got a bowl of rice and i already meant to but i have just we're gonna get our water boiling here i think we need filled up my little chicken yeah some salt in the water two cups of water so i need one cup of rice and then i'll take you in the pantry and let you see the work i have not fully like cleaned out and re I guess cleaned up the pantry it's been a hot minute like like I, way too long like you could barely walk in there you couldn't even reach back into the very back of the cabinet well i couldn't reach into the back of the cat the shelves because i'm five foot one so i can barely reach the top one anyway but um yeah it's been a while since i've done it so it took a little bit i mean i give myself at least an hour that's what i said i think the pantry took over two hours maybe almost two and a half hours but um yeah i'm happy with how it looks so we're going to go in here and show you but one of the main reasons i want to get it wanted to get it done is we had like a cookie jar like the little wafer cookie things and they was in the paint it was in the pantry for a while anyways um and lily had ate them all and she just left the thing in there and jonathan was over here i think it was when they was here for christmas and he said, it's been a while since you've cleaned out the pantry, isn't it? And I said, yeah, why? And he said, because I keep going in there and trying to get those cookies, and it's always the same empty ones. So, we got it cleaned up. He'll be no longer trying to eat cookies that are non-existent. I mean, they're not cookies. They're like, I don't know what they are, but he really likes them. 
Um, and we're now on the look for more of those. We think we got them at TJ Maxx. It was like tiramisu flavored or something. So we're going to get my baby some of those. But anyways, let's go look at the pantry. All right. So here she is. Of course, you didn't see. Well, you could have seen a little bit of the before. Um, I think I'm making a TikTok of it in a, 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 a short or whatever for the other channel. But it looks so much better. Just hoping it stays looking like this. But it looks so good. How long will it last? Probably not too long, but at least for now, it's nice and organized. I'm going to give me a trash can and sit it um, right here. Just a little white, simple one. That way, when children come in here, they, if they're opening a package, it can find its way into the trash. It's very common for children to come in here in their snack wrappers. For some reason, they end up in the floor. I mean, I don't, I don't understand the science, but that's what happens. And when I got in the kitchen and started cooking, it was the time when everybody just decided to cue the noise. So I figured we would just do a voiceover on this, make it a little bit easier on me and everybody else. Um, so that's what we're going to do. You just cook the taco meat however you prefer to cook taco meat. Um, if you didn't, you know, if you wasn't like wanting to pull back on cost or didn't want to add beans and rice, you could double the recipe for the meat. I mean, you do you, you do whatever you want to. But honestly, this is enough. Once it gets all like, you know, meshed together, it's fine. Nobody notices that it has less meat this way. And actually, I think it came out better with the beans and rice added to it. It just adds a little bit of extra to it. Um, next time, I think I will add some maybe taco seasoning to the rice. Or you could use taco rice. But this is just plain white rice or jasmine rice. One of the two. What is the difference? So, now we're just going to mix my cheeses together. Y'all know these are staples around here. Rico's and the Velveeta cheese sauce. We mix these two together to make everybody happy. Rico's is too hot for Nolan. Wendy likes the Rico's and I like them together. So we all win this way. And it makes it go farther too. Is it cheaper? Debatable. But um, we just mix those two together and then I'm spraying these down. Honestly, don't know if spraying it down is going to help anything, especially for the freezer meal. But we done it anyways. It's the thought that counts. And sometimes you will need to cut these. I realized that I didn't have to cut them for the one for the freezer. So you just can layer them however. You can even cut them into like lasagna strips if that's what you want to do. We've done it every way. So just whatever. There's really no wrong way to do this. That's one of my favorite things about the recipes like this. Is there's no wrong way to do it. You can add whatever you want to to it. Take away whatever you want to. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. So that's what we're going to do. Now if you want lettuce and tomatoes. Um, you could just add that to the top after you cook it. And it's fine. It tastes delicious. That way you know you have your fresh ingredients on the very top. So that's what we're doing here. Is just layering up the two. I just like to assemble them at the same time. That way I kind of get a, you know, an even amount for both. So, the big packets back in the back are, you know, what everybody will be eating, except for Wendy. Wendy's is the little full packet in the front where it's just going to have meat and cheese. And Lily don't eat tacos at all. She eats chicken quesadillas. Lily doesn't eat ground beef at all. So, she will just eat something else. And this night, I can't remember what she ate whenever I made this. She, made, she ate something else, though, obviously. So, we're just getting it assembled here and um you know repeat so i had a little bag of the taco seasoning from the nacho cheese shells it comes with everything you need in it and i don't want to throw that sauce away i always keep it and so i used that in this so it didn't get wasted and it tasted good so we're just getting it all layered up here and then one will go into the oven at 350 just long enough to warm it back through and melt the cheese and you can also broil it for a few minutes if you want to. I typically do. John just likes his cheese a little bit more brown. So that's what we do. And then the other one, I just covered it with foil paper. I used two pieces of foil just for extra protection. And then I set it on a cookie sheet and freeze it. And once it is frozen solid, I will take it off the cookie sheet and I'll wrap it in cling wrap just for an extra layer of protection from the freezer and whatnot. Mm.
and I'm sure that I've shared this recipe before or a, a variation of it anyways, but this is the final product. Now, it's not the most beautiful thing ever, but I promise you it is delicious. Well, I promise if you like tacos that it is delicious. This is definitely a, one of our favorites around here, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, make sure you stick around for the rest of the series. We have one more before this, and we're going to have more to come uh, later on. Thank you guys for all the support and love. We love you all, and as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends. Bye.